Ladies and gentlemen, hello, good evening, welcome back to Monster Hunter World! I was gonna go take a look at my gear, maybe upgrade something before going after Devil Joe, but alas, the commander had other plans for me. Good, you're back! I have an urgent mission for the field team. Two basil juice have been found in the Wildspire Waste. Great. Somebody else should go deal with those. Oh, all hunters need to go investigate at once? I guess that includes me. At present, the monster is only confirmed to exist here, in the New World. According to our research, it attacks enemies with special scales, created by solidifying its body fluids. The quest is called Beyond the Blasting Scales. Get out there We're immediately. The ones to get it done. We're the ones to get it done. Taking on two monsters at once will require perseverance and probably bringing other people along, too. You have to know when to fall back and when to move in. Never fall back. That's easy. Problem solved. Uh, yeah. So this is the first time I've signed in since ever since we did the uh the xenojiva the unknown monster i was trying to think of what it's called my brain kept going unknown and i'm like oh yeah no that that's actually correct um so basil juice we're not going to deal with you we're going to go do devil joe but there's a bit of a problem here problem, as I see it, is that pretty much all of our armor is very, very vulnerable to dragon. And Devil Joe does a lot of dragon damage, and it's kind of terrible. Let's just pop up here real quick. We'll just, I'm not going to, like, derp around too much here. I want to get on with the hunt. But we should at least do a little bit of gear management here. See if there's anything better. Uh, what is my current weapon? Can we upgrade you? We can. Oh, I didn't get any Xenojiva horns. That sucks. <laughs> oh, man. That is disappointing. Um, Vol Hazak Fangs are also probably the worst item in the universe to try to get, but man, that Love Sorrow Lance would be so cool to have. Basil juice weapons would also not be terrible. The Xenojiva weapons? Look at that. They're so cool. They're, uh... I don't know. They could do more with them. Give them a bit more of a unique visual, but... They got, like, the the veil. The Xenojiva veil, and it does that pulsing glow effect, which is so cool. I love it. Um... If we look at armor. We can also see the Xenojivo armor set now. Oh, I don't know if we ever looked at Valhazak. Valhazak armor set is pretty cool looking too. I wish I could like hide my weapon. But that's okay. I like the beta set better. I like the little helmet, the little hat. The little like funeral veil thing that you got going on there. I love the look of the Valhazak set. It's just so goth. <laughs> like all the spikes and veils and oh it's great uh the xenojiva set is also really really cool for ladies get the big old wingalings again the lance is kind of in the way but that's pretty cool this one's also pretty slick this one has like a larger wider veil this one has a more conservative veil but still very very cool i love the look at some of these armor sets uh however It's all very vulnerable to Dragon. And Devil Joe does some devastating Dragon damage. Pretty much all the Elders are weak to Dragon. That's kind of the their whole jam. It's kind of the whole point. Um, Death Stench. The Dober armor's pretty Dragon proof. Oh, Diablos. We can go fight like a black Diablos or something, too. Ugh, I don't want to do all this stuff. There's so many things. Do you have any dragon resistance decorations? I'm going to say probably not. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Hmm. 
All right, well, the lance is almost certainly even more worth using for this. Let's just see. There's so much random junk kicking around in my inventory here. Tatura Pike. Um, yeah, actually going all in on poison would maybe not be a terrible idea here. The red tail is really cool. I was working on making that. I would love to get the better version. I think the Nurgle Impaler is what we just roll with. I think we're mostly just going to keep the same gear. Um, can I upgrade you? Can we upgrade any of the armor? Did I fully upgrade it all already? Did I upgrade any of it at all? Do we have any armor spheres? We have a few. Oh, we unlocked a new tier of upgrading our armor, I think. Because we fought Xenojiva. So we can go from 64 up to 70 defense. That is a thousand percent worth it. Six points of defense across five pieces of gear. Across each of the five pieces of gear. So 30 more defense total. Yeah. Absolutely. We're just going to burn all of these advanced armor spheres. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. One more. The gloves. Okay. Um, we might be able to do this. Also, we have another piece of gear. Yeah, look at this. We can have a new piece of equipment. This is so cool. The ghillie mantle, I really like. We don't have a lot. We're missing so many things. Uh, um. So the big thing that we're going to run into versus Devil Joe, and you don't really see against any other monsters, uh, actually two status ailments. He, Devil Joe can lower your defense. And Devil Joe has Dragon Blight. And Dragon Blight ruins everything. It basically shuts down any elements that you would have on your weapons. So maybe we do this, maybe we do this. Um, was there anything I actually wanted to do with decorations? I was only half paying attention. The defense down thing is kind of helpful. The protection one's pretty good, actually. Fire resistance doesn't matter. It would be dragon resistance is what we need. Um, Puff up our palico. That would be adorable. Crisis is actually not terrible in this fight because we're maybe going to have blights and things on us often. Mm -hmm. Nah, I think we just go with this. I think we're just going to roll with this. Alright. Cool. And now to actually do the quest here. I'm going to eat and then we'll go down and do the quest. It'll make sense why in just a moment. I forget if we actually need to eat for this. I think we do. It doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. Uh, pay with points. And we'll just do the chef's recommended. Whatever the special is today. Thank you, Meowscular Chef. It was delicious. All these people with so many things to tell us about. We can learn about Colvay Teroth, even though Colvay Teroth is not active right now. Um, we can learn about Lunastra. We're going to talk to the Sirius Handler, and we're going to do the... Uh, <laughs> we're going to do your thing. Not right now, but that is that is coming up next, after Devil Joe, I think. Oh. Ah, good hunter. It's been ages since we've seen you. I'm sure the commission's been keeping you busy. By the way, the blue exclamation points are for the new monsters that have been added. So, Devil Joe and the other two. I'm very excited. One of them I haven't done yet. I haven't even started. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, do I need to talk to the correct one? How about this? 
Hey! <laughs> Hunter, quite a coincidence that you show up as soon as you're needed. That's quite a handy skill. <laughs> oh, man. Why can't anybody around here do anything on their own? I know, they're all a bunch of nerdy scientists. I get it. I'm the only one that's trained in stabbing and hitting things real hard. Chopping them to little pieces. Carving off their parts and wearing them as a trophy. <laughs> First, our deepest thanks for guiding us through the Wild Spire. Oh yeah, that was a long time ago. We haven't had a chance to show our appreciation. Now then, a matter of great importance has come to us scholars, and it requires immediate attention. The commander shall be attending as well. Come along now, brave hunter. Time is of the essence. Okay. I assume you've called this council for some significant news. Mm, hell yeah. The most significant news. A startling and rather frightful report. Mm -hmm. Hunter, I assume by now you're aware of nature's food chain and how it works. Yes. There are predators. And then there are prey. It's a natural occurrence in the world. Since the first fleet landed in the New World, not a day goes by where we don't feel the ripple of its effects. Oh. But there is one dreadful creature whose sole purpose is to destroy the very foundation of the food chain. The one monster who's going to eat the entire food chain. And it's been spotted here for the first time. It may be stowed away on our boat or something. Because we haven't seen it till now. We have, actually. I think we've run into one or two. And by run into, I mean run away from. Huh? Wait. No. Are you... Are you talking about a devil, Joe? Seriously? A devil, Joe? What the hell is that thing doing here? It's a good question. There's no mistaking it, Commander. I spotted the tracks with my very own eyes. <sighs> devil Joe. The world eater. I would love to have a pet devil, Joe, and just name it Galactus. This is amazing. Its very presence is as much a threat to the ecosystem as any Elder Dragon. Maybe even worse. Okay. Alright, here's how we're going to do things. I'm putting you three in charge of the investigation. Get everything you've got. Hunters of the Fifth, get out there and find everything you can about this Devil Joan. Report back to these three scholars. Mm -hmm. We'll need the entire Fifth to help search for tracks or clues. Once we have enough information, we can try to pinpoint its whereabouts and maybe even its next destination. Hey. Sorry to butt in, but just to add one more thing, we're actually developing a new specialized tool. Hell yeah, that'll actually make this fight kind of manageable, maybe. Researching this Devil Joe will certainly advance its progress. Yes, we have to defeat Devil Joe first, and then we get the thing that would help us fight Devil Joe. Hmm. We'll hand it over as soon as it's ready. Tread carefully out there, Hunter. And now, similar to when we were looking for the Elder Dragons and trying to figure out what their dealio was, here we go. The World Eater, Galactus Joe. Devilactus. Has been spotted in the New World, and it's threatening the local ecosystem. Every high rank locale, six or seven star optional quests, all over the place, we can find Devil Joe tracks that will help our investigation and eventually lead us to the beast itself. Although I think the beast will find us. Once you have gathered enough research points, talk to the Jovial Scholar who will issue a special assignment, which will yield special rewards, like our sweet new mantle that we're not going to get until we've fought a Devil Joe. <laughs> Note, Devil Joe can also start appearing in quests where it's not actually listed as being one of the monsters. Yep, it just it shows up everywhere. Special assignments are quests that are assigned to you that are not related directly to the Elder Crossing. And that's the blue exclamation mark. Yes. Sounds... Good. Can I talk to you right now? <laughs> oh, apparently we've already found enough tracks. Well, this makes it even easier. This must have been from when we were uh, running away from Devil Joe earlier. Wow, we must not have needed very many tracks. This is crazy. Uh, thank you for your patience, Hunter. We have completed our analysis of the tracks the Fifth have gathered for us. Let's talk somewhere else, shall we? Follow us. Okay, I was expecting to have to do like a little montage of me sniffing poop and <laughs> claw marks and stuff out in the forest. We finally analyzed all the tracks that you found oh so long ago, and we're ready to report the results. We were able to figure out Devil Joe's exact location. It is wherever you don't want it to be. Going to bed? Thinking, ah, nice and safe here in my little room. Sleep in my little bed under all my little blankets. Nope, Devil Joe right there under your pillow. You'll get your hand bit as soon as you put your hand down there. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the beast comes and goes as it pleases. It was a miracle we were able to locate it as fast as we did. I'll say, you guys found that thing real quick. Mm -hmm. 
If we let this chance slip by, we may never get another opportunity like this again. We posted a quest called the Food Chain Dominator. It's a daunting task, but if anyone in Astera can do it, hey, it's you and only you. One more thing, due to the extreme danger that Devil Joe presents, no one except the research team will be allowed to enter the ancient forest. That means the handler needs to be on standby at camp. It is far too dangerous for her to be in the ancient forest. Alrighty then. Okay, so the handler is actually going to stick around here in Astera because it's too dangerous out in the forest for her. That's cool. Okay. Special assignment, the food chain dominator. I guess we're just going to do this. I'm going to check my inventory real quick. We're going to restock all of our crap. Uh, there may be other monsters, so I'm going to keep the dung pods. And we're going to do... We're going to take a brief little detour here. Um... <sighs> do we have raw meat? We do! I've been saving raw meat! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We are going to very specifically mix some raw meat with some other stuff. Um, I'll just do... 10 and 10 for now. Um... The... Poison's probably also a good idea. Yeah, fine. We'll do we'll do ten of each. Okay. And now I need those. So game. Ten of those, ten of those, and ten of those. Everything we've learned about Double Joe is that it's always hungry, so we may as well, you know, try to roofie it while it's stomping around eating everything. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. And then let's just... We ate already, so let's do this. Here we go. Post a new quest. Special assignment. There it is. There's our first special assignment. Seven star! Ah, easy. Xenogeva was a nine star. This should be a piece of cake. I'm so scared of Devil Joe. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Uh, and we're gonna solo this. So let's see how this goes. And I have no vouchers. Well, fine. I didn't want to use a voucher anyway. Oh, there we go. Now we have five. Like I said, it's been a few days since I've signed in. All right, I will see you all out in the field. <laughs> we can begin! Uh-oh, where's the handler? She's supposed to be hanging out here in the camp, I think? Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure she is totally fine. Hey! Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, did we even tell the handler that we found a Devil Joe here? Uh... Really? You didn't- you didn't think to tell my- My plan to catalog every last edible and potable in the new world is nearly complete! Uh-oh. Oh, the irony. Well? Grandpa, father, I wish you were here to see this. Hmm. May as well grab some rocks, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. No, this will be fine. A whole bunch of footprints right next to the mushrooms. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, you guys! I believe we forgot to tell our dear handler about our Devil Joe issue. Uh... Uh-oh. What? We must tell her that this area is strictly off-limits! Well... I don't hear, like, anguished death screams or Devil Joe roars or anything, so I'm assuming that she's totally fine. Oh, cool. Look at this. Devil Joe is also over here. What in the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. These tracks. Devil Joe, it's near. Uh-oh. 
It looks like it was maybe hopefully headed not the same direction. Uh oh, handler footprints. And Devil Joe footprints. Hmm. I'm getting a Oh wow. Now this is a mushroom. Bad feeling about this. Hmm. Well, at least the handler's enjoying her last moments. Inside a Devil Joe? Was she eaten by the Devil Joe already? Hunting for food always puts my heart at ease. May as well keep stocking up on these handler footprints. If you're not sure it's right, take a bite. No, that's terrible advice. No, 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 no. Don't just go eating random stuff. That seems just awful. Oh, cool. We found her. See, she's right there. She's fine. See? Right there. I see her. Good. Phew, I was worried that Devil Joe might have been headed this way. That... Nice! What a haul! Might have been kind of bad. <sighs> hey, partner! Come here! <gasps> oh, oh. Welcome to Devil Joe time. Jumping Jaggy's a sister before her stamina's gone. Oh, jeez. Is she... Okay. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. I've never fought a Devil Joe with a lance before. Hopefully, it just is great and we don't have any troubles. Ooh, I'm so glad I was, like, just accidentally blocking that when he totally threw the Jaggy at me. Or the Jagris. Oh, jeez. Red scar mode active, and this is when things get terrible. Hey, partner. I'm working on it. It's not just like super easy and casual knock it over fun times. There we go. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. I, like, I'm seriously doing everything I can here. Still hanging in there. Not that you have a choice. Yeah, no, I, I know. I'm not, like, super great at knocking over Devil Joes, okay? I don't practice this. As much as I should, I skipped out on that day at the gym this week. There we go. Go for the tail. Please go for the tail. There we go. You know, you could help a little more, too. I'm going for a trip. That's why I'm attacking the legs. Oh, no. Okay, don't eat me. Dang it. All right, well, I'm dead. Just kidding. We're not dead. But my defense is down. This is exactly... Oh, gosh. I forgot to bring... Nullberries. I specifically meant to bring some of those. Alright, well, it, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll all just work out perfectly. Please, like, hurry up and fall over. Oh, I didn't realize that the handler actually has a stamina bar there. That's cool. Oh, Devil Joe, you're enormous and very stompy.
Please stop doing that. It is real obnoxious. a trap and everything. I'm, this is, like, surprisingly difficult for me to knock over. Normally, well, normally, the only other time... Hey, there we go! We did it! Just kidding. I was gonna say, I usually use a hammer, and a couple of big, like, upswings to the face usually does it. Thanks! I was really in a pickle, and you kept me from being actually in a pickle! Oh, is the pickle! That's what the community likes to call this thing. Well, it's going to be a little slow doing this with the lance, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, please stop doing that. Oh my gosh, the stompingness is just the worst. Please stop. Move. Come on. On your feet. Oh, man. Devil Joes are just very large, wiggly, pickled creatures. The pickle T-Rex. All right. Oh, you know what? I don't have my items set up to be able to handle my second thing. My uh, cleanser booster, which in oh no, there it is! Oh my gosh, I can block through that. That's so good. That dragon breath is devastating. That's the dragon blight, and it also just does like so much damage. Okay, we're going up here. Where on earth is my booster? There it is. Nope. Well, not gonna hide. That's alright. We just have to, like, step into it to get our, uh, defense restored. Uh-oh. Dragon Breath. Here we go. Hey, I sharpened my weapon, though. That's cool. Into the Dragon Blight thing. There we go. The Cleanser. Get rid of the Dragon Blight. You know what I mean. Words are very difficult. There's a lot going on right now. Can I take this off, please? Um, I'm gonna pop a first aid back, too. I would love it if you would stop being so angry, Devil Joe. Here, let's do one of these. Or go have some tinged meat. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you like that stuff, don't you? Have some meat. Look, it's going to be delicious for you. Ooh, another Jagras. Um, I believe the one that... Devil Joe killed. We could have gone and carved, by the way. Trying to use my shield to block that. Okay, roar again. He's leaving. Look at that. We did it. And we got a great Jagras material out of it, too. Is he chasing the great Jagras? He is. That's what it looks like on the map. Yep, he's he's hungry for Jagras meat. Okay, well, I tried. I tried to get him to eat our tinged meat. Um, I'm going to sharpen again before we do this. Um, Poison meat. The good... The, the good part of the meat strategy is that it will do a really good job of just inflicting the status ailments. The downside is that it restores Devil Joe's stamina, so he's no longer quite as droopy and tired. Why can I not drop poison meat? I was really hoping that that would work. Oh well. Poison meat. Oh, I can only have the two out that we've already dropped. That's what's going on here. I understand. Hey, look at this. Going for a ride. Perfect. I would love to get your giant pickle tail chopped off.
not bad. I slipped stamina. That was gonna hurt real bad if he broke my shield. Oh, jeez. Paralyzed. Look at that. Come on. Get your tail back down here. Boy, there is nothing quite like landing a really satisfying Lance counterattack in this game. It's just like there's no other weapon that has this. Not to the same extent. Um, Charge Blade lets you do some counterattacky stuff with like some guard points that's a little goofy. Um, the Longsword does also. But, you know, again, nothing's quite like the Lance. I don't think the gun lance does. I don't know, maybe it does. Ooh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. All stumbly and staggery. Okay. <gasps> are you going to my favorite place? This is so cool if you are. I really hope so. Yes, 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 we're gonna follow you. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is my favorite Devil Joe thing. Devil Joe gets his own paths. He just gets to go off and do his own thing. Look, look at that. Yeah, look at our little T-Rex friend just jumping around out there. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so happy that you're doing this. I've only seen you do this like one other time. It's so, so, so cool. Jump. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I wish Devil Joe did like a... I, I'd like to imagine that Devil Joe kind of has to wind up for his jumps like a cat. Wiggle its butt around in the air a little bit before it finally, you know, commits to making a jump. Uh-huh. And now you're going to kill a bunch of things. Here, I'll drop some poison meat. That should maybe help a little bit. Yeah, you're sniffing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like when my cat opens, or when I open a can of cat food and the cat does this. Okay, just gonna have the cleanser booster ready. That tail swipe is brutal. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, take that! Kind of alternating between face and tail, just, you know, whatever it takes to kill this thing. I would love to break either of them. Yeah. Oh, you're at the poison meat. No, no, no. Eat the poison meat. Please. You're, like, way less likely to actually... Oh, gosh. I don't know why you stopped, but I'm very, very happy that you did not actually hit me right as my stamina ran out, because that would have been terrible. What is this? Dragon Pod? Yeah. Um, I think... I don't know. I don't know if this is, like, actually a thing, but I think that when Devil Joe gets all red and poofy like that, like this, full on, like, anger mode, Red Hulk, um, I think that Elder Seal can help us knock Devil Joe out of this nonsense. Dang it. Oh no, this is the worst time to be stunned! Please don't die! Go, 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 go! Thank you, cat, for the Vigor Wasp spray. It was very helpful. Okay. Ooh, you almost got me with that, too. That would have been awful. We're good. Devil Joe will try to eat any full-sized other monster that it encounters. And some of the interactions are just absolutely hilarious. Devil Joe grabbing basil juice and, like, shaking it above its head. Like, it, Devil Joe will, like, rear back and kind of 
flail around with Basil Juice a little bit as Basil just tries to fly away. And Basil Juice just drops a bunch of bombs on him. That's the only interaction so far where Double Joe kind of has something fight back in like a significant way. All right, we're gonna we're gonna just back off here. Have a couple of these. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. I missed with one. That sucks. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I am not here for you to just snack on me. Contrary to what you believe, Devil Joe. Oh, yes. Nice. We do still have our drugged meat out there. Yep, going for it. I will let you go for it. Have a delicious snack. Okay. There we go. Yeah, look at that, you're poisoned now. However, you're also backed up to full stamina. Devil Joe wears itself out a lot. It's, uh... Devil Joe does not have a tremendous amount of stamina and is always hungry. Oh, jeez. This is the uh, the downside to feeding it. I'm just gonna shoot you full of these dragon pods and hopefully it does anything. So far the answer is no, nah, didn't really seem to do much. Yeah, take that. We just broke your face. Oh, that feels good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll go with Vitality Mantle. Mm, just kidding. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank goodness he missed. He went right over me. <sighs> come on, come on. Come on, on your feet. Come on, come on. Okay. This is a doozy of a fight. Man, I love Devil Joe. It's such a cool monster. Oh! <laughs> that hurt real bad. All right. Touche. Well done, Devil Joe. You're not even limping or anything yet. Good grief. Good grief. There is a Toby Kadachi on the map, theoretically. I wonder if that's what you're going for? you just going for the Apseros, maybe? Yeah, you're going for the Apseros. That's fine. Okay, you're uh, you're done with your garbage for now. That is awesome. Nope. All right, that didn't protect me at all. Oh, good. And now we got defense down again. Okay. Defense down has been fixed. Hey, 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 look at that. I'm just gonna carve it right now. Please don't attack. Please still be drooly and limping. Nice. Oh, look at that. All right, now. Oh, well, I guess we're done. Foiled by a wall. Um, I'm going to eat. No, 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 no. Delicious, artificial, easy ration. I just had like a fantasy world granola bar. 
you going to go take a nap somewhere? I don't know what you're doing, Devil Joe. So we got the tail and we got the face. We can, I think, like, scratch up its belly or something, too? Like, break its chest? Oh, jeez. Yep, of course. Foiled by another wall. Alright, fine. Fine, Devil Joe. Just use all the walls. Use the environment to your advantage, boy, don't you? Okay, well, this has been a fairly successful hunt. Do we have traps? Did I bring any of those? I did not. I am super tempted to go get some traps and to catch a Devil Joe. Let's just do that real quick. Didn't actually end up using all that much tainted meat, which is pretty good. Save some for later. We used one. The paralysis and sleeping meats are, you know, real good. Uh, where are my traps at? Trap. And... Trake bombs. We're going for one trap. We could go for a pitfall trap. That's kind of hilarious. Devil Joe is, uh... Devil Joe does not take kindly to being put in pitfall traps. I'll leave that for everyone else to go experience on their own, though. It truly is just a marvel of uh, angry T-Rex-ishness. Flashbug would be nice. Where did I put my traps? Trap singular. Where is it? Don't know why the trap itself went all the way to the end of my inventory, but the trike bombs are somewhere else entirely. Are you asleep in the Anjanath spot? Where are you? Where is the game taking me? Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is a cool spot. This is below the Anjanath spot. Trike bombs! Trike bombs! Yeah! Look at that! We brought balance to the food chain, and we've got a Devil Joe. I now have a pet Devil Joe. I would like to place it in my home when we get back to Astera. Up in my room, please. He can have the garden. Um, he needs to promise to play nice with the other pets, but I think it'll all work out. I'm very happy with this. I'm super pleased. There we go. Look at that. We did a Devil Joe. Whew, that was a doozy of a hunt. And now Devil Joe can just show up all over the place, everywhere in the game. And look at all the things we got. Talons and tall things and scales and hides and a couple of tails. No gems. We did not get any Devil Joe saliva either. That was a big boy. That was the largest one we've ever fought. Cool. All right. I am I was actually, I was genuinely worried about that. But the Lance being able to like block the dragon breath and stuff, that made that so much easier. Ah! <laughs> Our deepest apologies for keeping you waiting. You've done some fine work for us. Let's talk somewhere else, shall we? Why can't we talk here? Why do you have to drag me all over the freaking... Ugh. Hey, partner. I know it's just like up the flight of stairs to the table, but still. Hey, partner, way to go out there. Um... Thanks for getting me out of that jam. Sorry about that. It was a fine display, Hunter. I don't think even the Admiral could have done a better job. Mm -hmm. I'm all spiky now with Nergigante stuff. I basically am... The Admiral. I'm the new Admiral. I like the Admiral. He's great. However, I must ask, what in Astera were you doing out there, dear handler? Um. Okay, this may come as a shock to you guys, since I don't talk about it so often, but... <laughs> I really like food. I mean, I really, really like food. I'm a total foodie! In fact, I decided to document every single edible thing I could find in the New World in order to make a comprehensive guide. I had some downtime while at camp and decided to go out and search for some ingredients. Sorry, <laughs> guess I got carried away. It's just the new world. Everywhere you look here, there's something I want to eat. <laughs> I see. You have that classic go-getter attitude. I like it. Despite the danger, you did nothing wrong. Better to risk your life chasing after your food than being a lazy do-nothing. And by food, I mean dreams. She probably dreams about food. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. You know what? We all risked our lives coming to the new world. That's what we do. That's who we are. <laughs> <clears throat> Getting back on track. Brave Hunter, we have something for you. 
This is the new specialized tool we were able to complete thanks to the information your Devil Joe research provided us. We know you'll use it well. Probably to fight more Devil Joes. Well, now we must head back out and continue our research. Dear Handler, we look forward to reading your guide someday. <laughs> Stay safe and may the Sapphire Star light your way. Yay! Dragonproof mantle! It protects us from Dragon Blight, which is basically that big breath attack thing that Devil Joe did. I think that's about the only real use of the dragonproof mantle so far. Alright, cool. Um, we are going to call it quits, however, we're just going to talk to the serious handler here really, really, really quick. How are you doing? Oh, hey, how goes the hunting? Where is your uh, excitable A-lister companion? Me, I'm about to head off to the Wildspire Waste. My partner told me he spotted something strange out there, so I'm getting ready to check it out. He said it was some kind of animal that's, uh, not an animal? I don't know. He's a strange one. Don't ask. He thinks it's something that's not from this world. He won't shut up about it, so I figured I'd go amuse him. Hey, hey if you're not doing anything, I wouldn't mind the company. I prepared a quest called A Visitor from Another World if you're interested in tagging along. I figure that if a creature is... Uh, I figure if that creature is anything like he described, it might turn into a pretty nice adventure. Alright, cool. Search the Wild Spire Waste for anomalies. Special assignment. Post or join the special assignment of Visitor from Another World to begin the investigation. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And there we go. That's what we're going to do next time. We're going to go investigate in the Wild Spire Waste. Probably not with this character because I need to unlock it on my other character. And we'll have a much higher chance of survival. Oh, 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 sorry, we're not done yet. Wait, look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at. He's a pet devil, Joe. Oh, his face spikes are a little crunched up, and he's missing, you know, a quarter of its tail or something, but... What part of its body do you think triggers its insatiable appetite? From where does its thirst arise? I must know. Nope, that's all you got. All right, cool. I'm happy with this. Thanks for watching, everyone, and may the Sapphire Star light your way.